everybody, I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today we're looking at Psalm 7, and here's how it starts off. Lord my God, I take refuge in you. Save and deliver me from all who pursue me, or they will tear me apart like a lion and rip me to pieces with no one to rescue me. I think a lot of people find themselves saying something similar in these first two passages, like, Lord, protect me, save me, be with me, etc. Because we recognize that we can't go through this life without Him. And as we're going through the Psalms, you'll find that a lot of lessons we learn in these, in these chapters will have to do with God's goodness and the difficulties of, of life, and the lesson will be found in the middle of these two things. But I think, I think most of us are willing to admit that life is hard, I mean, we may not have enemies pursuing us who want to tear us apart like lions, but, but life has its difficulties for sure. Something we might not always think about, however, is God's goodness. And I think that these next few passages really highlight what we are supposed to do in the face of God's ultimate goodness. Starting with verse 3, Lord my God, if I have done this and there is guilt on my hands, if I have repaid my ally with evil or without cause have robbed my foe, then let my enemies pursue and overtake me. Let him trample my life to the ground and make me sleep in the dust. You see, many of us are willing to ask for help from God, but how many of us are willing to be humble and really get with God and just ask him to search our innermost self? How many of us are willing to ask God that if we are, if we are found guilty, of these things, of these sins, to allow the consequences to overtake us. You see, God is just and He's righteous, and ultimately He is He is good. He can't be in a relationship with sin and with evil. And sometimes I even forget that there, there isn't one thing I can do to earn righteousness with God. I can't make myself good. And I feel convicted from these passages, and I don't think I'll be the only one, but I get into that mode where I forget I deserve none of the blessings that God has given me, not one. And, and God would be right to take any of them away, but, but in his ultimate knowledge and ultimate grace and goodness, he doesn't. He doesn't. He knows we need grace. He knows we need his righteousness to get us through this life. And so he wants us to continually recognize our need for him and our need for Jesus. I believe God wants us to be in a place where we can, we can humbly and honestly ask God to search our innermost being and ask him not just to look at these things, but remove any part of us that is sinful or sick or hurting. And that's my encouragement to you today is, is take five minutes out of your day to ask God to search you and help you because I, he will. God gives us Jesus to cover over our sins, to remove our sins, and to make us new. We can't lie to him or pretend like we have no sins. He knows everything that we're dealing with from the inside out, but that humility to ask God to search our hearts shows God that we truly recognize that we need him, and we really can't do this on our own. And so Calvary, I hope today you have that opportunity to be humble. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.